Oh, my name is Margaret in Windsor, and this is, I'm showing this because, uh, well, Larry Flynn, everybody knows who he is. I wrote a book down in Atlanta in Marietta I was living when he was shot in Lawrenceville, Georgia, March the 6th of 78. I had a letter from the FBI, ongoing investigation, national security involved. Uh, the part that connected Mr. Flynn, and he did this endorsement uh, for me, it was in April of uh, 84. Um, I had uh, run in a political campaign because one of the doctors, I had written about mind control and what you can do with it, modify behavior, program people to kill, uh, and their victims themselves, they don't know they're being programmed. There's has nothing to do with mental illness. But Larry Flint and his attorney were shot, and his attorney was killed in Lawrenceville. So later he flew me out there during that campaign to replace Larry McDonald, one of the doctors I wrote about. And um, I spent two different nights there in October of 83, was furnished a car by him for a year at least, by Hustler, and um, I was just shut down money-wise and everything. I was almost killed. I was given antifreeze April 1st of 80, and then I skipped some time in there because you can't tell at all. I worked for the DA in the condition I was in in Huntsville, lost my home, my kids, FBI, letter on me and everything. Uh, seemed nobody could protect us, and it's never stopped. It's this ongoing investigation. People should have listened to Edward Snowden. Uh, this is where they brought me. I was kidnapped. I found out in the late 83 while this was happening. It wasn't because of the book. But here I am. Here's the woman I had to call mother. This is a glossed over picture of I was brought here in 41. This is made in 43. She had twins, Peg and Carl. And uh, they were out of the wedlock. She killed both of them. The family covered it up. Later... Annie Carter, Dempsey Carter, uh, even confessed to it when I had the Hustler car and furnished by Flint in this endorsement because it looked like at that time all of it was going to be told. So I'm going to leave it at that because you can't tell the horror that's involved in it and the law is broken. When I came here, though, in um, October of uh, 86, really I was put on the side of the road. I hadn't recovered from the antifreeze being put in me April the 1st of 80 and trying to work for the DA and try and did in 80 and work for, this is in Huntsville where I was taken in the condition I was illegally in my apartment taken in Atlanta. My children never knew the truth or anything. I was kept from them. And uh, I worked for Doyle Duke, um, Clar Clarice Metters, of Golden Triangle, which really they worked for the CIA. Uh, and then I worked for uh, computer science doing Navy manuals for a while. And it, uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to get to this. I found out that I have an, uh, I was never diagnosed. I worked for doctors. I was misdiagnosed, let me put it that way, big time. I have an immune disorder. Um, where my immune system actually attacks itself if I'm in close quarters with toxic fumes. And that includes construction, uh, material, sealants, um, you name it. And some indoor household cleaners will make me really sick, uh, like varnish, too, and, and things like that. But it, it sounds so, uh, some people take it, they don't care. You can't. It's permeating your air and poisoning it. And that's what's been done deliberate. And it's because of who I am. I didn't find out until 83, remember. And the British told me. Uh, so it's a whole bunch involved of things involved. And um, they've used my illness against me here. And I keep quoting uh, Virginia State Trooper Carl Barton, and I'm not trying to get him into any trouble. I'm hoping, since my word's been made no good, that somehow this can get stopped. Um, my immune system, over a period of time, if I'm subjected constantly to the fumes and toxic, it's poisoning my air. 
uh, inflammation is that's the only thing I can get medicine for is for the inflammation, which really doesn't help. You have to get away from what you're breathing. And if that's in your home and you can't get away from it, then you suffer the consequences. And everywhere I have gone in trying to attempt to tell you how it's pulled off, I've tried to on some other videos. So I'll just leave it at that because I really wanted to get this in here, an update, because this is really what's gone on with me. And as of today, I can't walk. I can hardly get out of bed. So you see where they have me. If I'm not able, if Great Britain's not able to pick me up and take me home, um, this is so orchestrated. The higher up law enforcement that everybody has something to hide and they get things on you. Uh, the people didn't have to do this. They didn't have to go along with it. But anyway, they get the local or the help of the local or state and uh, law enforcement. And they literally have shut me down to where uh, I'm isolated, really. And people around here in Roanoke, I've tried to leave, and I've been forced to come back here, live on the Appalachian Trail, the forest, and all this. So I know how this sounds. And it's an FBI agent told me in uh, Grottos, Virginia, 84, 85, he had supposed to have retired up there. He said they, and that's the FBI, have made it so... Um, ludicrous that everybody knows you're telling the truth, but it gives them a chance to help or walk away. Well, they help them, uh, law enforcement, um, because law enforcement would get things on them and uh, drop charges or et cetera if they help do what they've done to me. So I'm just going to read you uh, right here just the last few months what's happened to me. And my body, my kidneys, and the lungs are just about shut down and damaged, and I can't walk as uh, a couple of days ago. I'm just going to start here. This is Howard Johnson's where I just left, Roanoke Road. I paid for, um, okay, I'm going to go back to 3715, and I paid for a week 31415. I stayed there six nights so sick I couldn't stand it and they brought me out of there on the I didn't get to stay the week so uh, I was so sick I came back now then I just left um, it leaves me running from one place to the other the fumes get so bad and uh, taxes are involved leave us me with no money for clothes or food and looking ridiculous you know and nobody will step in and stop it uh, I've been told they didn't know how well anyway Okay, 610, which is just the other day, I went in and paid for a week again out there. And so you ask, why am I going out there? Because I'm running from one place to the other, and I've tried to put it up on uh, YouTube and Facebook. And I paid for a week till 617. Well, I stayed two nights and sat outside the last night, which that was night before last, and I paid for a week, and uh, I paid... I got to stay for two nights, which I was gassed, and, and now I can't walk. I suddenly, this hasn't happened before. I woke up uh, night before last and and knew that I'd paid for a week and couldn't stay, and I was I got a cab and I was brought back, and I'm not going to say where I'm at right at the moment, but it, this is Howard Johnson's where, um, this is on Third Lane Road, but they're all on, and it, it, this isn't, whether they're from India or what, people seem to, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, if they're living here, they got in on it because they're not going to have to pay for their grant. But anyway, this Howard Johnson's, all of them are owned by the Patels and Shaws around here, people from India. Uh, Troutville, Roanoke, all of it. They just about own all of the motels, hotels, and like that, and gas stations too, I think. But anyway, they also own the one on Third Lane Road. And I'm just going to scan through it real quick because the same thing was done here. It's like a bloody damn nightmare. Uh, and plenty of people know it uh, because there's other stuff involved uh, about like the shootings, uh, mind control, murders. It can be proven even though mind control is invisible, like the Virginia Tech shootings uh, April the 17th of 07, and a whole bunch of it. But I want to get back to this because this is what they're doing to me. This is Howard Johnson's third line. I paid for a week, 5, 10, 15 to uh, 5, 17. Same thing going on. They're making me so sick I can't stand it. So